Welcome to the bonus content. My name is still Mike, and this bonus content, we're doing something very special. We have on the show, as promised previously, I don't remember if this was penance or not, we are going to review officially this beer that has been brought to the evening. It is known as PBR, Pabst Blue Ribbon. It's so fizzy. Yeah, well, you know, we're, we're normally like... We we normally drink like craft beer and high flute and shit. So let, let's let's drink let's drink an every man beer. Well, right? Before we drink it, looks, looks we will like, describe. It looks like piss. <laughs> it looks it looks like piss. Hopefully, it tastes better. It's uh, so fizzy for beer. Fizzy for beer. Supposed to be I do fizzy. see a lot of fizz. Like this is more fizz than I've seen in it's any forced soda. Carbonation. Yeah, it's weird. That's what it is. Is well, this well, a, this is four and a half percent alcohol, right? I don't know what the rest is, but yeah, four and a half percent alcohol. Okay, there it is. <laughs> All I'll right, smell it. Okay. That is Thought, offensive. Th- it, <laughs> Thoughts it on is, the nose. It is, it's not. It, it, it's, it's got a bit of a straw smell. I mean, it, it does have a like a straw earthy no, sort of smell. No, you earthy, know? yeah. It smells like dirty salt. <laughs> it I'm, smells like, like dirt. Not not in a bad way though. You know, like <laughs> kind of okay. like a. It this is, is. This is this is musty. This, this stuff is is, <laughs> this is straight this is up. Like, this is like grandma's house. Okay, it, it is straight up <laughs> yeah, offensive. Grandma's house. This yeah. is <laughs> offensive. The whole thing. This, this is, is offensive. It's an offensive. I shall I shall say. Guys, we are having this in. Yeah. All right, here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Oh wow, that's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. You know, I, I I I gotta admit that's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. The fit, the fake fit. No, wait, wait. There, there it is. There it is on the back end. There it is. There's, there's the, there, there's the, there's the chemical jizz taste. I remember the chemical, chemical jizz taste. Oh, I gotta. It, it's so, super so, so, wait, so, so on the, so on the first sip, taste it. Mm-mm-mm. So I taste it. Doesn't taste like anything, but then wait for the aftertaste to kick in about a good few seconds later. Oh, it's got like a. I know, right? That, yep, that's I'm getting. I'm getting. Cancer and bleach. <laughs> cancer and bleach. I'm not getting cancer and bleach. What am I getting? I, I can't identify it. I'm trying to. I'm getting wolf jizz. <laughs> <laughs> Soured wolf jizz. I'm getting like haven't changed your flannel shirt in seven days. Soap. I'm getting soap. Mm, soap. You know, yes, soap, dish soap. No. Okay, fine. Laundry soap. Laundry detergent, maybe. No, like, like you have. We never get like you know. You swore or something when you were a child and had to bite down on the soap. My parents. My parents loved me. Oh okay. yeah. <laughs> well, uh, my parents. Would uh, just, my parents did that one. My parents I was like, did I have a trauma? No, no, no. If you're biting soap, I mean, my parents used the wooden spoon instead. Okay. Oh, yeah, no, I had that too, but then I had for the swearing, it was the soap for like forever. I, to be I, fair, I deserved it every single time. And to this day, that is still your fetish. It tastes like soap. <laughs> this is disgusting. We got to drink a whole one of these, don't we? Uh, no, we I think do. we committed to. Now, to yeah, be fair, these. No, cups no, don't, 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 don't ruin the surprise. Don't no me. surprises. Okay. Oh, fine, God. Yeah. <laughs> God. Now, for those keeping score, we don't take a, Don't take a big drink. <laughs> For, for those who might want to keep score, a six pack was oh, brought I'm tonight. Getting worse. And, and oh, this, God. this six do, pack do, of that six pack, we've got maybe one and a oh. half cans in these three cups. Do hipsters combined. have no taste buds? I don't understand. All right, I'm going to take a swig now. Here we okay, go. We'll take a swig. Well, you go. Uh huh. <laughs> Words cannot describe the crime that has been my, done my, against humanity. By my this my tongue is numb, and then it's not. But why wish it still was? It's like beer, <laughs> but if it's spelt like wrong, it's like <laughs> spelled like bear, <laughs> like malk. Yet I'm still drinking it, which is kind of weird. I know no, because right? that's this, a weird thing because we're still sipping on it. It's like a train wreck. Oh, you why? Know? Why am I doing this? It's Be- not that bad. It's no, it's, I'm not over. It's it's, <laughs> it's a it's, it's a train pretty wreck. Pretty. You it's terrible, but you can't look away. It's, that's what this stuff it's, is. It's the Ah, it's right here. It's that like secondary aftertaste. You know, there's somebody out there who's listening to the show who actually drinks Paps the Ribbon on a regular basis going, fuck you, you know? <laughs> this is good beer, man. No, it's well, not. Well, you know what? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. So I consider myself a bit of a beer aficionado. Um, and Some would say a snob. It's fine. Someday I'm, I'm going snob. to get you to work up enough courage to post that picture of you in a tub full of beer on the internet. It's on the internet now. What? It's on my Facebook. It was like my profile. It will like get a posted. Can it will, you it will, it, this is something that will be posted. This will be posted. Yeah. Okay. Like so the picture they're talking about is Laura and I went to uh, Prague for our honeymoon a couple years ago, and one of the things that inspired us was Anthony Bourdain's special for Parts Unknown, and they did a they did a show with uh, where they went to Prague and went to the beer spas and stuff. We thought you can literally sit in a bathtub full of beer while drinking a beer, not the same beer that you're bathing in, but there's like a tap for beer. <laughs> That'd be it. so. 
It, it's, it's warm. I, there's, it's a jetted tub. They throw in the minerals and stuff in it too. But it's... everything about that is wrong. But my eczema was cleared up for like six weeks after. This is a traditional thing. Beethoven did it. Uh, like freaking. Uh, he was known for good ideas. Good yeah. did this. Like <laughs> the fifth symphony. This, this was has okay. been a. Well, the ninth symphony is better. Seventh was my personal favorite, though. Really, Masters of Music, bitches. Yeah, anyway, no, no, nothing. Tchaikovsky. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty good too. Be- Mozart, Be- Beethoven was. I don't. It, it's hard to say objectively, but Beethoven's objectively the most influential classical composer. I don't know, man. I think uh, Bach would give him a run for his money. I'm pretty certain that. But part- the problem is, is between Bach, the transition between Bach and Beethoven, though. Uh, the, and if you want to get all nerdy about it, and if I have any musical listeners, please correct me if I'm wrong. But Bach and going into Mozart was where we went f- transition from artistry. So not not just the from the craft of con- of creating the music. Oh, shut up. I had to listen to... We had to fucking do like a freaking financial lecture on freaking If you want to listen to real classical music, listen to P. Diddy. All right? Like, that's what <laughs> real classical music is. I just is. watched Tim's entire soul shrivel. <laughs> like fine, four fine, sizes. fine, fine, fine. I gotta drink more of this Pepsi fine. ribbon if we're gonna talk about P. Diddy. Drake. All right, all right. Gotta okay. just keep drinking. Drake. Okay, here, Drake. Here we go. Here we go. Drake. Drake is classical. Okay, mm-hmm. and, and drink. Oh. I can't do it. Oh, man up. No, okay. So going back to my thing. With Can beer, we go like, back to t- t- like tequila? This is just... <laughs> no, let's not go to tequila. I'm well. happy to report that my cup is now <laughs> I have empty. some stories about... No, uh, those are not going to be on the podcast. Those are not going to be on the podcast. Yeah, I uh, I can happily report right, that my fine. cup is now empty. I am I am through but there's, whatever look, there's that like is. There's like eight ounces of foam still left in that. <laughs> my cup's empty. Josh, is your uh, sample still empty? No, I am Because it looks like a urine sample right now. <laughs> okay, so I make fun of you for being a spear snob, but this stuff is... It's gross. I've been drinking good my, beer for so long that I can't okay, drink look, this look, stuff. Look, 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 look. I don't believe in good beer or bad beer. I believe in you like what you like as long as you have a reason for liking it. That's my whole oh, thing yeah. with beer. You might, so you that's might. great. You People might have a reason for liking this beer. Like spiritual degeneracy <laughs> you know on that note i think uh josh finish your beer come on come on bottoms do it. up bottoms up bottoms up, up, bottoms up, up, bottoms hey. up. face down ass up oh wait no, that's, that's, wait, that's a different that's show. the way we, no that's not the, <laughs> that's, that's the, the way like, we what's drink this, what is this left it was uh, like that is a film left over on the cup that you it's don't not want it's to know not about. it's not going down that's a weird it's part. not it's stuck <laughs> to the side of the cup. i thought it was like backwater spit or something but it's like nope it's not okay i think that's probably a good point to end it. Uh, crack open your own PBR and drink along with us and we'll see you next week. Or don't. <laughs> uh, see you later, guys.